during the newscast, but now to this story. A 27 year old Houston woman dies from COVID-19 after giving birth to her sixth child. Tonight, the baby is in ICU and her husband and family are understandably devastated. Speaking to our Randy Wallace live from the southwest side, Randy. Kaylin, imagine meeting your spouse in the third grade and going on your first date in the ninth grade. That's 28 year old Rico Hernandez's love story. It's a love story that ends in heartbreak. We started dating January 19th of 09. And yesterday made 13 years. That, uh -huh. I'm sorry. Uh, yesterday made 13 years that we had been together. Um, so yesterday was uh, very, very difficult um, to even get out of bed and to start the day. Giving up is not an option for Rico Hernandez. He now has six children to raise. The new year started with Crystal Hernandez showing mild symptoms of COVID that just got worse. On January 3rd, Rico took his pregnant wife to the emergency room. I told her that I love her. I gave her a hug and a kiss and uh, she got out of the car and, and went through the sliding doors of the, of the hospital. That would be the last time Rico would see Crystal. They diagnosed her with pneumonia and they said that it was at a severe stage and that they needed to do an emergency C-section. Rico says Crystal knew baby Coda was fine, but never got to hold him. She never woke up after that. Uh, that was, uh, those were probably her last moments uh, from what I know. Crystal died at the hospital just a few days ago. She did her mommy duties. She did what any mother would do and made sure that her baby boy was healthy and, and he was strong. Crystal nor myself uh, are vaccinated. Uh, we talked at length about the vaccination uh, and due to our beliefs and the fact that Crystal was pregnant, uh, we had many concerns. Rico says his 10 year old and the other older ones understand mommy's gone, but he says his three year old son asks a heartbreaking question. He still asks me when mommy's going to come home from the doctor. Um, and so I, I try to explain to him uh, that mommy is an angel now and that she's watching over us. Now there's been an outpouring of support for the family. I've got a link on my Facebook page. Reporting live from the Southwest side, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.